Good evening, comrades. I forget the game was back with part uh, what was it four or five? I think it was. I think it's four. Oh, I, I got my little uh, phone real quick. Let me check real quick. <laughs> Sorry, it's. I know it's been only a few days, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it's part four. A brutal Russian overkill. Episode uh, thirty-four. Chillax. Okay. Okay. Last video of part three. So yeah, this is part four. All right. I realize that. Uh, it's been on pause this whole time, but oh well. And holy shit, did I get a lot of games. Not a lot, but you know. I got a decent amount. Only a few I really wanted. I'll get the ones that went out of the way first. Uh, Dying Light. That game's awesome. And uh, there's this other game. Uh, what was it? I'm trying to think about it. Uh, just trying to come to mind. Hold on. <laughs> You'd think I'd remember what games I bought, but no, I didn't. Well, I, I do remember one. I, I do remember one of the one shot. I haven't played it yet, but you know, uh, I do like those quirky RPGs. You know, maybe as memorable as Undertale. You never know. So yeah, I got Dying Light and uh, the season pass, which includes the following and a few extra bits and doodads, whatever. Oh yeah, and I remember Wolfenstein A New Order. Oh my god, I just played that. That is amazing. And I also got the Old Blood. They're both $10 each. For... Oh man, I, I gotta get them. I, I gotta get them. So awesome. And I got a few other games. A few shoot 'em ups And, uh... I might get a few more games later, because, uh... The, the Steam Summer Sale ends on the 5th, so I got plenty of time to get a few more games. Anyway... And yeah, like I said before, I only make videos on my days off. Oh, I have a day off, and I'll have another video or two up Saturday. Because I have that day off as well. I'm working tomorrow. So anyway, uh... Yeah, got Dying Light. It's a pretty cool game. You know, I still haven't played uh, Dead Island on yet. I, I have it, but I haven't played it yet. Wasn't there a sequel? I know there was like a Riptide. I'm not sure if that's a sequel or not. I could have sworn, are they making Dead Island 2? I'm not sure. But Dying Light, that's a pretty awesome game. The controls take a little getting used to, but it's fun. Of course, I gotta be really conserved about how you play, because uh, zombies aren't very easy to kill. And in the nighttime, they're even more powerful. I think I haven't encountered them in the nighttime yet. You have to set up little safe zones in order to, you know, rest and not get eaten by zombies at night. Heck, they're hard enough to kill during the day. Oh. Maybe I should not have done that. I'm about to subside. Yeah, I also got a few shmups. Oh, yeah, uh... One of them I, <laughs> I'm starting to like, Desperate Times. You're basically flying around as a ship, and you're shooting, like, hundreds of enemies, and... You have ammo, but here's the thing. As soon as you run out of ammo for your current weapon, you'll get a new weapon. And the weapons are insane. Like... Definitely check it out. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some videos on YouTube. It is insane. I'm not going to spoil it for y'all. Let's see, uh, still need to get the yellow key. No, it's over here. Alright. You know what? Let's do some nuclear mines this time. Give me one second. Alright, I'm back. So anyway, yeah, um... Yeah, a bunch of other guys forgot the names, but the big ones are Dying Light, Wolfenstein in New Order, and the Old Blood. 
I don't is the old blood like a prequel or like an expansion pack for it or what? I don't know. Oh yeah, for those who didn't uh, don't check out my secondary channel, um, I uh, recently uh, got my new case fans, of course they're, they're all the AF series, all blue, of course, five uh, AF-120s and one AF-140, I'll have a video to that uh, in the link in the description below, check it out, yeah, um, quiet edition fans, yeah, quiet my ass, my ass is quiet. <laughs> If anything, they're louder than the fans of the case. Than the, they're louder than the fans the case came with. But you know, the lights are pretty, and they're definitely blowing a lot of air in. Definitely keep the inside of my PC nice and cool. So I won't uh, look past the misleading name. That's for sure. Okay, I need a yellow key, but. Oh yeah, I might play some more Skyrim later, and uh, I think I'm ultimately going to decide I'm not going to play the Special Edition, at least not yet, because uh, yes, I, yes, it's made that 64-bit architecture now, yes, it has prettier graphic effects, but let's be honest, the real reason people still play the original Skyrim is the mods, and the original version has a lot of them. Well, yes, the Special Edition has a lot of mods, too. But it doesn't have nearly as many mods as the original. And that's, a, <laughs> that's the reason people still play and even prefer that over the Special Edition. It's because of the number of mods available. I mean, a lot of the big ones are on the Special Edition. And there are even a few exclusive to the Special Edition, I think. But, let's be honest, uh... A lot of people just prefer the original edition because of the number of mods available. Speaking of modding, you remember that what I mentioned earlier? That whole Take Two uh, Open IV debacle? Well, um, apparently Rockstar got in touch with them and uh, they said. Uh, let me get find the quote real quickly. Okay, so here it is. Here's the article I found for it. Yeah, it's from another website, uh, but it basically it says here, Rockstar Games believes in reasonable fan creativity and, in particular, wants creators to showcase their passion for our games. After discussions with Take-Two, Take-Two has agreed that it generally will not take legal action against third-party projects involving Rockstar's PC games that are single-player, non-commercial, and respect the intellectual... <coughs> Sorry. Intellectual property... IP rights of third parties. This does not apply to multiplayer online services, tools, files, libraries, or functions that could be used to impact multiplayer or online services, or use or importation of other IPs, including other Rockstar IPs, in the project. So basically, um, yeah, apparently Take Two's backing off. They originally sent a cease and desist order to the developers of OpenIV, and now. Let me show another article. I know you were expecting this in the video, but I might as well show it up. Apparently, OpenIV is back. Apparently, that flood of negative uh, reviews on Steam for GTA 5 has paid off. Decided to change it all. Yep. And it should take two interact made the OpenIV device close out the project. However, some recent reports have shown that Rockstar found a way to reconcile the two parts, all for the sake of fan creativity. According to the declaration, they still believe that fan creativity has to be included in the games they are developing. The main idea is that they want to improve their titles, and this also includes fans showing off their own preferences. It says Rockstar initiated a series of negoti negotiations with Take-Two, <laughs> talk today, and from what it seems, they managed to convince them not to initiate any legal action against the third-party developers. This would also include the PC games made by Rockstar, which are non-commercial and single-player. Moreover, they respect the IP rights for the third parties. However, the thing is that they will not include the multiplayer on on the online services as well as all that stuff, blah blah blah. I already read that. They also added the fact that it is not a license and it doesn't authorize, endorse, or approve of any project. At the same time, T2 has a right to object to any of the projects or to change their mind at any time they want. The negotiations proved to be successful and the project will currently continue. So there you go. Okay, let me get back to the thing real quick. Okay, so basically open IVs back more or less. 
and um, hopefully the botting scene will continue for GTA 5. I might even uh, reinstall GTA 5, even though I got it from a uh, bundle stars. It's not the Steam key. That is a code you actually had to uh, go. You had to actually you had to actually have a Rockstar Social Club account in order to actually get the game. But hey, I didn't mind. Yeah, I might re-download it later. See how that goes. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to go off that, but uh, it's great to see that the situation is somewhat resolved. I'm pretty sure people still, pretty sure people that are backing down are still gonna back down because like the damage has already been done. And so you can still use it for single player. Just uh, don't expect to use it for multiplayer and stuff. That's pretty much what they're saying. Still, again, the damage has already been done. You know, Take Two should have uh, looked into the actual hacking tools, not the single player modding tools. That was very short sighted of them, in all honesty. They certainly ruined their reputation because of that. So, yeah, now that's out of the way. Uh, not too much else to talk about, just, uh, again, I only upload my days off, so, there's that. Oh, this already is open. Now I need to, you know what, I forgot to turn on the music again. Let's, uh, yeah, these Corsair fans, um, I said, give me a second, let me put the mic over them. You heard that? Quiet edition. Yeah, my ass is quiet. But again, they they still do the job, you know. Good airflow and of course those those bright lights, you know. Gotta have them. Yeah, I know it might sound hypocritical saying, oh you say you don't want LEDs and all this stuff. Here's the thing, okay. LEDs and keyboards, mice, even case fans. That's fine, but on motherboards, RAM, CPU cores even, even chairs and headphones, the things you wear and sit on, they have lights where you're not going to be able to see them, that's where well, I think uh, LED lighting's like, okay, I want to focus on, you know, what you're good at, which is making keyboards and mice look cool, not uh, chairs and headsets. Those at least make sense, because, you know, you're actually looking at them. And, you know, unless you stare inside your computer case all day, like a freak, or a die-hard enthusiast, I don't think LEDs on your motherboard are going to matter much. Just, uh... Anyway, that said about the... That said, you know, they're still good fans. Good quality fans. Again, those frosted blades help the LEDs shine through a bit. They look cool. A lot better than those Thermal Tank. The, the Thermal Tank Ring 12 fans, they're good too. And the lights are good, but um, it requires having to plug it directly into your PS. If you plug in your motherboard, you have to turn on the lights manually, which you know, kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, I understand the control to change the colors, but to even turn them on, like, really? Again, you have to plug it in directly into your power supply, which you need a separate adapter for. But figured, you know what? Those are cool, but I want something that's a little brighter. And these things do the job. Though, again, they're louder for quiet. If that's, if that's quiet, and that's a quiet edition, I hate to hear the loud edition. But anyway, uh about that. Okay, I got the key, but uh, how do I get out of here? Go up here. Oh, it's just a platform. Oh, okay.
Well, it's been a while since I played Chillax, so I kind of forgot what some of the things are. Okay. Ready? I love nukes. Anyway, um... But I'm... Yeah, I'm, uh... I know it's not gonna be, like, any time this year, but, uh... Maybe later in the year, you know, I wanna see what kind of graphics card they have. I am gonna play upgrading my 960 Super Clock, but, uh... I wanna wait till the next line. Maybe the one after. See what kind of cards they have in stock. I hear the graphics cards, um, becoming a little scarce, like, at least the new, new versions, because of cryptocurrency mining or whatever, I haven't really kept up with that, I don't even know what it is, probably using graphics cards to mine for bitcoins or whatever, I'm not quite sure how that's possible, but hey, because of that, you know, GPU prices are on the rise, at last I checked, a, G a GTX 1080 Ti, UGA is like 700 bucks, like, yeah, it's a bit much. Okay, I need red key. It's so dark in here. If only I had flashlight. And run out. Anyway. You know, I used to make like these separate like videos talk about like my favorite genres, you know, why I switch to PC games, you know, those kind of games where I show video footage and just talk about stuff. I could do that with this. So, pretty much my secondary show is pretty much going to be relegated to, you know, indie box openings, uh, any PC parts I get from Proteus, or if I get any keyboard or mouse, or something like that. I'm just, I don't know, whatever I feel like uploading. We were talking about stories, but I could, do, I could just do that on here. Got the red keys lit up. Be able to see it otherwise. Alright. Suburbs. Holy Jesus. Give me one second. I need to close my uh, Google Chrome uh, window real quick. Alright, I'm back. Oh, I remember this map now. It took me forever to get to this map. Not just because of the slowdown, because I had no idea where the fuck I was supposed to go. I wanted to play ammo. There's one thing where you can shoot a a secondary fire for your super weapon a dozen times and still not kill everything on this map. But yeah, Wolfenstein a new order, man. It's amazing. I can't believe I didn't get it sooner. See? Two Vindicator Blasts. Only kill like 150 enemies. Magic. Might as well, you know. They're gonna be spamming me with monsters, I'm gonna be spamming them with super weapons. Of course, it'll come with the cost of my uh, FPS, but oh well. Also, I'm going to Oh, you're still alive. Yeah, well, if you're going to abuse super arms, it's going to be slowed down no matter what computer you have, so. At this point, it's something I'm going to have to deal with in the series. 
only my addiction to super weapons. I'm surprised I don't spoon with them. I'm gonna see what other games are on the Steam Summer Sale. I'm gonna probably get a few more before I'm done setting it up with. I wanna see more Contra style games on uh, Steam. There's only two I know of, 8-Bit Commando and Super Cyborg. Those are pretty decent games. I like Super Cyborg more. But, uh... I don't see too many Contra style games on here. Hey, go see any Contra games. As much as I despise Konami, I hope they return to the Contra series at some point. Like, I haven't seen a good new Contra game since Neo Contra on the PlayStation 4, or PlayStation 2 in 2004. Blech. I think there was one for the Wii. Was it a WiiWare game? I don't remember. Or oh, for you had to open this gate first. I'm not sure if you can hear the fans in the back of the mic. This, it's just like the G23 has a noise canceling uh, bit on the other end, so they pick up too much background noise. Well, they still do like spam those khaki demons and hell knights, don't they? Yeah, and those arch files, you can't get those arch files. Holy shit. This is probably should be expected when I'm using super weapons. Any other weapon, okay. It won't be that much slow down. Keep in mind there's a lot of stuff going on. And keep in mind I have an overclocked CPU with 4.5 gigahertz. I even overclocked my uh, graphics card a bit, so... If there's any slowdown, I cannot explain it. Simple as that. Oh, yeah, I forgot what the fuck I was supposed to do. I know I need a yellow key for that door, I know that much. You'd think I remember how to get to this mess, but I don't. So now we just uh, jetpack my way up there. You know, I gotta go through some of this legitly. There's nothing over here. That's yeah, hot, so I'm supposed to hit triple digits again today. Thank God I have the day off. So I'm going out now, they already hit. <laughs> I already had 112 degrees a few weeks ago. I don't think I want 103 right now. Wait. No. I thought I saw a door or something. Again, it's been a while since I played this. What are these other... Oh, okay, okay. He's coming back to... Kind of Alright, that's where I came from. I know there's another building like that. 
That might be it, but, uh... I flipped the switch in there. I know I did. See? Switch flipped. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now I remember. Love sparing those cyber. Yeah, remember, I said uh, a few videos back not to advertise your videos on my channel. Advertise your videos or channels, or whatever. Yeah, as expected, there were people who ignored it and just did it anyway. Like, why do you do that? If you're gonna advertise yourself, at least do it on a bigger channel where you get a lot more recognition, hopefully. Like, seriously, uh, advertising yourself on my channel is as resultless as getting a vegetarian to eat meat. Like, it ain't gonna happen. Gonna start blocking people that just set of advertise anyway. Dude, there's a video website, not an advertising platform. Well, I guess it kind of is. There's ads every five seconds in a video. But that's besides the point. If you're gonna advertise yourself. Don't do it on my videos. I will block you if you do. So what's that? That's why I always set my comments to approval required. Just so spam and delete it, but now if you're trying to advertise yourself or a friend or whatever, you're out of here. Okay, so those are open, so did that... Oh, did that giant gate open? Yes, it did. Now nah, it's all coming back to me. Kind of. All those blasts are still a shit ton of enemies to kill. I believe one of these... Yeah, one of these opens up. Then another one opens up. Somewhere down there. Demons in this map. All those switches just to activate an elevator. I could have just jetpacked up there, but uh, what would the fun be in that?
arch files way over. Let's see if I can get that shot. Yeah, kind of did. Still a few survivors. See that fixed it. Okay, another gate I need to open. Got how to open it. I to go all the way around here to do so. I think I saw a switch back here if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. I forgot how complex this map is, but you know, given the number of monsters, it actually makes sense. Like, there's lots of monsters you have to kill, then okay, I can see it being this big, but... So long as you know where you're going, that's good with me. Okay, where's the exit? Jesus, I just probably destroy all the IBM PCs. Exit. There's still a bunch of monsters to kill, but you know what? Gotta leave a few survivors so they can tell the tale. Another survivor. All of them that I can find anyway. Penaments. Okay, that's why I'm going to end this video. I'm going to record another one. I'm just going to upload this one first, then I'll start recording the next one. Till then, I'm thinking the kid of a stunning out. This is part four of Boot Overkill, episode 34, Chillax Revisited. <laughs>